Welcome to Brothers on a Budget, and this is a 2007 Club Sport R8. Now, I've been given the privilege of just driving this car for a few hours now, and I can tell you I've really enjoyed it. The power delivery is smooth and responsive. And for the age of the car, it's, uh, it's got everything you'd expect. So it's got all the airbags are covered. If you're looking for a safe car, it's definitely got more airbags than I can name. Stereo wise, it's not a touch screen, but it's still good. It's got an 11 speaker stereo. Now for moving on to the engine. So from factory, they came out producing an impressive 307 kilowatts with 550 Newton meters of torque. This one had a couple of mods done to it, some OTR and exhaust, and a couple of little bits and pieces. Put on the dyno, it done 250 kilowatts at the rear wheels. So it's quite impressive figures. Um, it definitely uh, it's, it puts out every one of those kilowatts when you put your foot down. I like about it so far is the red interior lights it's a very sporty feel um, for its age as well having this I'm very surprised seeing a 2007 model car with factory um, dash cluster like that it is impressive and the white and the red really makes it feel aftermarket I, I, I'll ask the owner later but I presume it's factory it does look very neat um, but yeah look it is I suppose for today's standards, a little bit outdated with the screen in the middle that gives you the, um, you know, that black and white dots, but all in all for a 2007 model, you've got a big screen here. I don't think it's touch screen, no, but that's a little bit as well outdated. So I suppose its age is starting to show in a vehicle like this, but for the price you pay for them, the power you're getting from them is quite incredible and uh, the handling's really good. Um, the only downside, I suppose, is if something does go wrong, it can be expensive. And what I mean by something is like transmissions, diffs, brakes even, the big Brembo brakes, tyres are expensive. So, I suppose it's probably not the best car to daily drive if you are looking for a daily. But as a weekender, for around, the, we were just looking at it between twenty to 30000 definitely worth the money. Uh, this one in particular has had a little bit of work done to it. It probably goes a bit better than standard. You put your foot down and... picks up we can't give it much more than that because we've got traffic in front of us and we're trying to abide by the speed limit My only flaws, and I've mentioned it while I was driving it, is something's starting to feel a little bit old, but considering the age of the car, that's what it is. Um, but all in all, it is a lot of fun to drive. Um, the only thing is, I would have picked it up in a manual. That's my only thing. If you are looking at getting a um, Club Sport, a HSB, a GDS, an R8, try and find the manual, unless you're looking in a Senator or a Grange model, it might be hard, but definitely go for the manual option if you can. Um, the body and the condition on this is definitely still looking good. It's in good condition. The owner, as you might see, is really like off camera. He just comes up and he's wiping stuff here and there. So he's really particular about it. Um, new set of wheels going on soon, apparently. And maybe we can give you an update when that happens. But thanks for checking out Brothers on a Budget. This is, again, the 2007 HSV GDS. Not a GDS. It's R8 Club Sport, sorry. Ha <laughs> ha!